Well, hello and welcome back to another Minecraft episode with myself, Red, on the Dogcraft servers, episode 6. And I have been working hard while you have been away. <laughs> it's been a little while, but I have been on and off the server and I've been doing odd jobs here and there. And uh, yeah, the main aspect of today's episode is to carry on with the zombie sorter that I showed you last episode and we started on creating the spawning area. Uh, a lot more of that to do, but when I logged onto the server, it said I had some sales in my shop. So let's head on over there and we'll see what's going on. So here we are at the mall. I've got some ice with me so we can stock the shop up. Um, uh, yeah, there it is. There's the baby. I'm still really pleased with how that looks. And I'm really pleased that people have actually been buying stuff from it. Yep. There's some sales, let's stock them up. Of course, um, I don't get diamonds for these, as you may see in some other YouTubers uh, episodes, specifically on Hermitcraft, they kind of deal in diamonds. We deal in dog craft dollars, so it's uh, money that you can spend on the server. And I spend a thousand dog craft dollars a month for this plot, so I can keep this going. So that should help a lot. So I really thank anyone who's come along and uh, purchased ice from my shop it makes it all worthwhile and yeah maybe I'll think of doing another one hmm so we're back at the house and uh, I've made a few changes down here I'm not uh, no I haven't actually shown you this I've put a furnace array in which is just your sort of standard furnaces hoppers on top power rails on top of those and then hoppers into the back as well with power powered rails on top of those at the same time. So, uh, chest or minecart chest there, and then a double chest above that, which goes to another minecart chest at the back, which uh, puts the coal in. And then when you hit the switch, they both fly off at the same time. One on the top here, and then the coal one at the back, and they're just evenly distributes oh yeah chest with a hopper into the uh, chest minecart chest at the back and that's how it works I think I found that one on a uh, cup fans channel he actually had a an output rail underneath here as well and it ran into some chests and it had some notification lights and you could turn that on and off and everything else so it was a bit it was quite fancy but I took the basic element of it and put it into my space that I had I've moved the chests around as well and I put some nice lighting in so yeah I've done a, a few changes down here but the big change is the zombie sorter I've been uh, busy at work or actually I need to get myself some redstone first and pistons and various other bits and bobs. So I think I've prepared a few bits and bobs here. Take those with me. Yeah, I think that should be enough. So let's head on over and you can have a good look and see what I've done. I did say at the time in the last episode that I would be doing a lot of the, the work off camera. And I've done a considerable amount, but there's still some left that you can see. So I've built up this whole step up here in this raised area. That's all been uh, terraformed by yours truly. Thankfully it's snowed so it actually looks really nice and it fits in quite well. And I've plonked the building on top because I was said I wanted it to be at a certain height so I could fit redstone underneath some of the actual stalls. And here we go, this is the barn. Unfortunately, it's snowing at the moment, so that's not probably not the best time for me to record, but hey, gives it some atmosphere, doesn't it? We are in a snowy biome after all. There's going to be four on each side. And uh, right here, a few blocks down, is where the, uh, the zombie spawner is in this cell here. And I'm going to travel up in that direction. And I'll be able to split them off and I split them off using this lever over here so it can be one way and in the back here there'll be some pistons that'll push or stop water and they'll flow over this way and it can be like the XP mode and they'll drop down in between these two fence posts which will hold them in place and I'll have some buttons maybe a button to sort of give them 
put them down to like a two hit kill for your XP and then a reset button um, once they're dead to reset the water. Um, no actually I don't think I need a reset button on this one, there's just going to be guys pouring in and you killing them off I suppose many times as you want but there will be resets on this side so this will be you flick the switch and it will be zombie sorter mode and they'll come down here one at a time and then the next one will travel along and drop down the next one will travel and drop so there's four cells and you'll be able to uh, well if it's a zombie there'll be a button and I think I've decided the floor will probably come back and they'll drop into some lava and you'll get rid of them quickly that way and then the next one will drop in uh, of course, if it's a zombie villager, then you can cure them and and take them away and do what you wish with them. So I'm really pleased with how it looks. And uh, you can just about see I've started on the roof in this section, but I've got a lot more to do. Quite a bit of roof, all the roof to do out the back here. And I've got an idea of what I'm going to stick on the, the top of the roof out here as well. So yeah. Lots of that to do, lots of redstone to do, so I think I'm going to do some redstone in this cell and I'll at least give you an idea of of what that's going to do and what it's going to look like. But, in order to do that, I need slime balls for sticky pistons. And I was struggling to find some. And I went to swamp biomes and no slimes were spawning. I don't know whether it was just because of how many people were on the server or or what, but I couldn't get any. And a very kind person on the server, Kite, she uh, piped up in the chat and said, would I like to help out on some slime chunks for a slime farm? And I've said, of course, <laughs> I'll get some slimes out of, slime balls out of it. I'm going to help. So... I went over to help out on a two chunk slime farm. She gave me a couple of picks, had a beacon up, and uh, I went to town in the area to dig out these chunks. So I'll put this now in as a little time lapse for you. You can see me working away. And uh, while you're away watching that, I'll do a bit of redstone here and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. See you soon. So I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there and I'd like to thank Kite again for allowing me to contribute towards the, the slime chunks. Of course I'll go back and I'll make sure that uh, we finish the job off but I managed to get enough slime balls to create my sticky pistons for my uh, stable um, devices for, uh, for killing off the zombies. Um, so I have done some, I'm not particularly great at redstone, so I've done some crude and crappy redstone. 
Sounds like a, a potential YouTube series. Oh, hello and welcome to Crude and Crappy Redstone. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. The best redstone you've ever seen in your life. Look, if I push this button, a redstone comes on there. Look at that. It comes on there. But a redstone comes up and it looks fantastic. And it can be used in so many things. Look, if I put a little piston down here, look, and I push the button, then the piston goes up, it can be used in so many builds, it's unbelievable, it's fantastic, and it comes out and it gives you 500,000 ticks every hour. Oh, it's so good. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Crude and Crappy Redstone, and you come and enjoy me again, oh yeah, love Downstairs here, and I want to show you what I've been up to. So there was a button on this hay block up there and that's going to power this redstone signal into this block which is then going to turn off this redstone torch which then runs up into this this device here so i found this on nims tv uh, and essentially it's just like a pulse extension and i want to extend this pulse so it turns off this piston which then pulls the redstone block back unlocking this hopper and then that allows the to then, these to then start transferring across and the signals then transferred around um, for it uh, when everything leaves this hopper the detection goes back here and that pushes that back again and it locks uh, and I get the continuation of the signal through here and it comes out at this point and then it runs into a, a couple of torch redstone torch towers up into the uh, the two pistons above and and again across there and and around into this so that's as crude as it gets for me <laughs> um it does the job so if we push the button the pistons push the uh, the two wooden blocks or wooden planks in for a specific time now it should now i need to take into account a five block drop as well uh, and this server and I don't know how accurate this is going to be so we need to test so let's quickly just knock out the lights down in the actual spawn room uh, let's go down in here oh no I didn't want to do that yeah let's knock that out that one that one we already got one guy spawning and that, and that. Right, so let's get on up. Oh, and a baby. I'm hoping that the baby gets uh, pushed down into the lava, but I think he's still alive. Okay, we'll maybe have to rethink that lava cell at the back for getting rid of the baby zombies. So we should have a guy here. Yes, we do. So, I think, is there another one coming, or has he got stuck on the baby zombie? Here he is. Okay, so if we hit the switch, is this going to kill them completely, or is this just going to leave us with one hit? One, two, three, four, hmm. So that's four. That's a little bit too many, so let's just adjust this slightly. Now the strange thing is, on my um, testing world, I had 12 blocks in here, and then it extends, it goes for well, like one more because of this little extension here. And that was two hit kill for a zombie, and it's always a two hit kill. But I've got ten in here currently. And uh, I had to hit those guys four times. Let's just try one more time. Oh no, I've taken let oh I know what I've done wrong. I've I'm taking them out. I should be adding them in so that they're <laughs> They're getting hit for longer. Let's... So ignore everything I just said. Let's 
put it up to 12 where it should be and let's try again come on and you're gonna stop 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 oh I got one but not the other hmm So he was three hits. Um, did he take less damage when he landed on somebody? It could be a little bit hit and miss then. Let's try with these. Yeah, they're 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 definitely dying. So let's just. Reduce that slightly. So if we go for what, 11 and then try that, let's see what happens. So we've had some drop down the five blocks. It's going for 11 and was there two of them that died? He's a two hit. He's a three hit. Did he come down afterwards? Can't remember. Right. Let's just wait for a few more. We'll get this right. There's a zombie outside there as well. <laughs> Jeez. There's guys all over the place out here. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Yep, okay, so we've got a little gaggle of zombies here, so let's go for this. I might have to reduce it and then provide some stone swords or something. That wasn't too bad. S still here. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three. Oh, he's got some boots on. So, I. Th Oh, I think we're nearly there, aren't we? Really? I might provide some. I might provide some swords so you can take out the guys with the armor on. But that seemed to work. Ow. Okay. I th oh, I don't know. Probably will we leave it at that? I think we'll leave it at that. It's not going to be the most efficient thing in the world, but or accurate, but we'll leave it at that. We'll provide some stone swords somewhere, maybe one of these chests, and we'll put some signs up and stuff. But, um, while I've done this, I have also put in the, uh, the switch as well, so stable mode switch. Down is for XP, and up is for the sorter. So, just close these off. Let me just quickly show you what's going on out the back here. So here, where the switch is, there's a bit of um, redstone dust. That goes into this block, which has a torch on it. And then some dust on top here. So when I flick the switch, down, so it's powered on, this torch turns off, turns that block off, and of course these pistons are retracted. But at the opposite side, because this is powered and then it's uh, stepped up through these blocks and slabs, these two pistons are on. So there's a sort of water source just in the middle of those, 
and when these two pistons are pushing it at this side the water of course just goes away from us but then when you flick the um flick the switch pistons over here have pushed in and we should be having you can see the water now we should have zombies dropping into the cells over this side you guys did it in the face, so we should see somebody drop down here. There we go. Somebody has dropped in. And they should continue over. He's burning because I don't have this covered up. It's not completely finished just yet. But let me show you how this is working. So this works like this. So they, they come along in here, they fall down, I've got a trip wire and it triggers, now is it this side or that side, it's this side. So here uh, on one of these blocks there's a trip wire and as they come along I've got dispensers with a bucket of water in them or at least one has and when they come across they fall through the hole they trigger the trip wire which runs the redstone up and fires that dispenser and that gives another water source which then continues to flow down to the next one so the next zombie that comes along carries on to the next free cell now I need a way of resetting the cell so triggering the dispenser again to suck up the water once I've decided what I want to do in that particular cell whether that's get rid of the, the zombie or keep a villager if that's the case I've still to put in something here which is going to pull the floor back and drop any zombies down into lava that I don't want but I do I will have a, like a reset button here which will reset the water and we get somebody else in there. So that's how it's eventually all going to work. So I'm really pleased that <laughs> all this is coming together. Uh, obviously I have still to do the roof and everything on top, but at this point in time it's a pretty good start. I'm really pleased with that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, if you do want to see more, then please subscribe. And of course, if you like the video, then please like. And I uh, hope to catch you in the next one. I'll see you all later.